Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Steve back at ARW and kind of wanted to go over something real quick um, that if any of you guys are my customers and you hang around the shop or something know that we're real big proponents on here and that is trying to buy locally like spend money at your shops when you can. Um, I don't care if it's our shop, um, one of the other shops here in town or something like that. Spend money locally um, and a good good example of a reason why is I'm going to show you right here. Um, so this is the spec twin disc uh, that we did on the Supra. Um, it has been a little bit of an uphill struggle. Um, not anything that we did, but sometimes these things just happen when dealing with um, these companies. You know, in the end, everybody's human. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, but here's kind of the gist. So this um, this customer with the Supra, you know, on our recommendation, bought a spec twin disc. Um, uh, the first thing that happened was they sent the the twin disc without. Um, show you the transmission here. Um, it came without the throwout bearing, and it was supposed to. So basically, the clutch showed up, and it had no throwout bearing when it was supposed to. So we got a hold of the company. Um, they sent out the throwout bearing. Uh, no, no huge deal. Um, so the next, the next thing that we had, and this isn't me bashing on spec um, at all. This is just I want to share an experience as to why I look at the positives in, the, in some of these things. I don't want to look at the negatives as to somebody messing up or having issues. Let's look at the positives, and this is why, this is why you should spend money at your local shops rather than buying stuff off of Amazon whenever possible. I mean, I'll admit there are some things that I buy off of Amazon or eBay or something like that, but when it comes to big parts like big clutch kits or something like that, spend money at your local shop. And back to reason why. So basically, um, we got the clutch in and the clutch wouldn't release um, back to spec. And they said that you need to upgrade the clutch master cylinder. Um, so we did that. Um, the car was still having an issue of not 100% releasing. Um, it, it looks like maybe one of the one of these pads is a little is a little awkward. I'm not sure, not sure exactly what's going on, but it's still dragging, so the car's not um, not fully disengaging. You can push the clutch in and put it in gear, but when you go to put it in gear, the car still moves just a tiny bit. We have it fully adjusted. Everything um, upon inspections. The nice thing about the Super Trannies is they give you nice big windows on both sides that you can inspect everything. So we figured out that one of these clutch discs may be. Um, defective for some reason we don't know if it's bent or if there's a high spot in the pad that may wear down but the point is we don't want to jeopardize the transmission by driving it around with a clutch that isn't completely disengaging so back to spec um, they send out a, a, a clutch disc um, they send it to us and we pull the tranny back out um, the downside is, is they sent, I mean, like I said, this isn't bashing on spec, but they, they do, they did end up sending a disc for an older clutch. Um, so we went back to them. They're overnighting another clutch disc that is the right one. Uh, the moral of the story here that I want to point out is if this had been a customer that bought this clutch kit off of Amazon or eBay or something, they would be paying the labor to pull this thing in and out and diagnose the issue. And this is how most shops work. If you buy the parts through them and you spend the money with them, this isn't going to cost the our owner of the Supra. This isn't costing him anything other than he's just super excited to get the car back and drive it. Because we sold him the clutch, we're dealing with it. And this is why you should spend money at your local shops. This is what I've I've pitched to people for years is when everyone comes in and has, you know, a little bit of a war with the pricing. Like sometimes we are a little more expensive, but there are reasons why. We know that if something has the potential to be a little more of a of a headache and that there may be an issue, but maybe it's the only part available or something like that, we may be a little bit more expensive. But God forbid that there is an issue. When there is, we stand behind all of our work and we take care of it. So because we sold the clutch, we installed the clutch, um, this customer with the Supra is not paying for any of the labor for us to figure this out. 
and this is just something I kind of wanted to reiterate to you guys that will at, go on eBay or Amazon and find the absolute rock bottom price on stuff and then bring it in and then like I said God forbid this if you know if he would have bought this from somewhere else and we'd be having this issue we'd be racking up a, a labor bill to fix all this stuff which isn't the greatest thing and it just kind of bums everybody out and makes everybody kind of look bad so just wanted to share this with you guys and let you know you know like i said there's there's going to be times where shops are going to be a little more spendy on parts but in the end complex parts like clutches and and things that are very mechanical turbos things like that i mean we do the same thing with turbochargers and wastegates i mean we warranty anything you buy here so if something goes bad and especially if we install it you know we will uninstall it fix the problem put it back together and you know you, it's not any money out of your pocket so just something to kind of keep in mind um this is kind of where we're at and yeah so that's that's what's going on so you know be sure and spend your money locally when you can um support local shops it you know Regardless of the amount of time that we're having, we're having to put into this car to get it right, it's still worth it. So, um, yeah, that's today's lesson. Have a good weekend.